What's well, so up guys, welcome back to another MCOC Alliance War and I actually decided to discontinue uh, uploading Alliance Wars, at least uploading the full Alliance War. Um, what I decided to do is if I bring somebody in differently, you know, for certain fights, then maybe I'll upload those fights. So in this case, I brought in Ultron and... <clears throat> So I'm just going to show those two fights using Ultron. Um, I'm just kind of tired of uploading war videos when I'm just using Blade for like 90% of the fights. Um, and I, I use Stark Spidey for, you know, the rest of them. Um, so yeah, I, like I said, I brought in Ultron. I was scouting my path and I saw... Um, a node, not this node, this is a mutant, but I saw a mutant on the bleed node and I was like, you know what, at first I was going to bring Nebula because that's what I normally bring in if, if I want to bring in a, a bleed immune champ, <clears throat> but since a Lion's Quest was going on right now, um, I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and bring Ultron in. I don't think I've brought him into a Lion's War before, so... Uh, yeah, this first fight with him, you know, very easy fight. Uh, Rogue on unblockable first. Her first special, very easy to evade. Uh, I guess if you know if you're sleeping, then you could get caught by the the first special. But yeah, no threat right there. So up next, um, so it's an unawakened mutant. So you know, of course, I'm thinking this is gonna be Nightcrawler, right? So I click on it. I get up there, and then I see persistent charges so I'm like oh this isn't a nightcrawler and I was thinking about the ch it's only two champs that has persistent charges and that being um, Bishop the other one um, Sabretooth so I didn't think it was going to be Sabretooth I mean it didn't matter who it was going to be because I had to bring in Ultron either way though I'm, I'm thinking if I brought in no if I brought in Sabretooth I would be able to out damage him maybe with the breakthrough if I got my combo high enough I'm not entirely sure uh, but yeah so I couldn't really remember what all abilities Bishop had as far as absorbing um, uh, power and everything so I didn't want to throw my first or second special because I couldn't remember if he if that was going to give him a lot of power gain or what um, and yeah, mistimed that second special there. I didn't want to, I, I knew that I didn't want him to use his first special because he does get like uh, a lot of, sh uh, is it shock damage or something like that? I forget. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go to the second special. I evaded it before in the event quest. I failed that time. So I'm going to uh, push him back up to two bars of power. You see, I interrupt the heavy attack the first time I tried waiting till it ended and then yeah it was too slow but uh, there's enough time to dash back you know to evade the first part and then dash in to uh, intercept the uh, or interrupt the second part so you see right there I was too slow evading the second special which is fine I'd rather be too slow than too early because you know I'll take block damage instead of actually taking damage from hit getting hit so fired off my third special and this is going to push him over two bars of power and I was um, I was thinking if I was wondering if this was going to stun him but you know I, I remember that this is stun immune so um, yeah that wouldn't have mattered and finally got the timing right on that L2 and finished him off so we did end up winning this war, but here's the weird thing about it. So that uh, only time that he's stun immune on that note is when you're in tier three and up when you're on the expert map, but we're actually in tier four for this uh, fight. So we got tier four rewards, which I mean, it's, it was, it's not a big difference between tier three and tier four rewards since we're doing two. Uh, battle groups if we were doing three then now then that would mean that we got shorted on six star or yeah six star shards but uh yeah that wasn't the case here i mean we got shorted on some five and uh, four and five star shards but you know it is what it is but anyways guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video take care